Welcome back to the light box. We just completed the top. This is our piece that we built just before. And I want to pay special attention to this, this slot area here. It's a quarter inch across and it's four inches from end to end. We're going to be building a part that slips right inside of that, but also resting directly on top of the box here. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and start a new part. We're going to use a two-dimensional sketch. And now this time, we're going to actually go ahead and we're going to use the X, Z plane. Now, if you happen to pick the other one, it's not that big of a deal. But once we come to assemble it, it'll make more sense of why we want to use the X, Z. We're going to go ahead and use our rectangle function, two-point center. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out just a little bit. Oh, now I did notice there that I did not collect the center. So I'm going to go back and try that again. I'm going to wait until I see green. There we go. All right. So now. This shape here, remember, our acrylic is approximately 6 inches by 8 inches. So if anywhere close to that, we're in good shape. All right? Dimension it. We got 6 inches across here. And over here, we'll have 8. Now again, you can, you can sort of just kind of estimate it and get it close. And that's close enough. We'll go ahead and dimension it just like we did. Once we've got that set up, we're going to go ahead and we're going to finish the sketch. Okay. Now, remember, this is going to be a multi-step process, so we're, we're maybe about halfway done. We're going to go ahead and extrude this, and we're going to go to a quarter of an inch, 0.25. Now, we're also going to go ahead and use a, a sketch feature that we used in an earlier one to actually create the hole or the slot in our top of our box. So right now we're going to go ahead and left click and we're going to go ahead and put a sketch directly on the top of our plate. Go ahead and back that out and focus in down near the bottom. Now what we're going to go ahead and do we're going to use the rectangle feature again, but now this time we're going to use a two-point rectangle, not a centering rectangle. We're going to go ahead and locate the very corner of our part. Now, did you notice that it went green? When it goes green, you know you've got the edge. It's snapped to the corner. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to be somewhere in that one inch range to a half an inch range and that should be pretty good okay i'm going to go ahead and back out just so you can kind of see what this looks like and again i'll use my home function or home feature now it's going to be relatively small and if you need to again take a look at it i'll just back up real quick we'll go ahead and hit the rectangle and we're going to go ahead and create a two point Rotate this around so I can see it. We're going to go ahead and go down to the corner. Notice that it went green. Click this up. About one inch. Be about right. Okay. Now at this point, we are going to go ahead and we are going to do the same thing to the other side. Now you see that dotted line? That dotted line indicates that we are aligned or the same, symmetrical with the other side. You can see how it goes across there. When we go down here, that means we've gone halfway. So we want to go ahead and line that up, and we're going to go ahead and click. Now, the width of these 
are, are different. You can see one's physically longer. See, this is a longer one here. This is a shorter one. But we're going to go ahead and dimension that. So we're going to go ahead and select this line here. And we're going to go ahead and then place it right in here. Now, we've got to do a little bit of math. Our slot is 4 inches. Our part right here is actually 6, six inches wide. So simple math would say if, as long as we make this 1 inch, we're in pretty good shape. So if we actually put a dimension there, we need to be more than 1 inch. So we're going to go 1.1. We're going to do the same thing the other side. 1.1. 1. 1. Now, you probably might be asking yourself, what the heck is that in fraction? It's actually less than an eighth of an inch. So, because we know how to go back and edit that, we're going to go ahead and go 1.125. That is an inch and an eighth. Not a big deal because we know how to do this. Once we've got it, we're good to go. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to measure this out. We're going to want this to stick down into the box a one quarter of an inch, 0.25. And for those of you who are wondering, that's what it would look like to the thousandths. So we'll go ahead and check mark that. And we'll do the same over here. Two hundred and fifty thousandths of an inch. All right, now we're going to go ahead and finish our sketch. And we're going to head and cut out our parts. Once we go ahead and cut out our parts, We can go ahead and hit OK. And now we have something that will actually fit into our slot. So this being our top, and we've got the slot right here. A couple details we need to take care of yet is we can see that it's a rounded corner here and also a rounded corner here, the definition of a slot. In manufacturing, the reason it's a slot and it's rounded is because the bits that they use to create it are round. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to create this round right here and I'm going to show you how we're going to go ahead and do that. Go ahead and selecting our part that we just were working on. We're going to go ahead and zero in on these corners or these edges. We're going to go ahead and left click and we're going to open up a create fillet. And this material here is a quarter of an inch thick, so 0 0.250. Half of that is a 0.125. So we're talking about a quarter of an inch and half of a quarter is an eighth of an inch. We're going to go ahead and do both of those, front and back. We'll zoom out. And again, if this is challenging, we'll go ahead and just use that home button and then zero in on what you want to do. We're going to go ahead and grab this top edge right here, give that a click, and then also the same thing down near the bottom. Once you've got those selected, you can go ahead and hit, hit OK. And now you can see that, like I just showed you before, we've got rounded edges here, and those rounded edges will fit right into those rounded edges here. Finishing touch, we want to make sure that we've got an acrylic that actually is a polycarbonate. And we'll go polycarbonate clear. So there's actually a, a level of clear to that. In our next video, I'll show how to assemble our pieces and our parts. Thank you for listening.